Hi, my name is Rudy Pinuko. I'm Microsoft SharePoint Server MVP in Singapore. You can visit my blogs in http blogslipinuko.com for more details of the technique in this video cast, or browse for some updates on tips and tricks, and the latest information on SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2007. Now I'll try to edit and we select the first item. Oops. Shows the new book entry. Remember that previously we have two views, so by selecting the view, we can change it to the edit form. So now we have to make it open the right form for us. Click on the list settings and we can expand from the web, from the form web part. Sorry. Yes. And select the item edit form. In SharePoint, we'll show the default view for our info part. So we have to modify it. And we can modify from web part property. And we can select the view will be edit form info part. This is the correct edit form for us. So we can select OK. And let's try again. Okay, now let's try again. Good SharePoint will open the right form for us. But there's another problem because we can change the view from the view selector drop down here. And in order to disable the selection, we have to configure it from the info party center. So we can open the info party center. I open the property of the view and disable the show on the view when filling out the form. You can do it very, very quick for all the views. And then uh, you can just publish again with the same procedure. Now it's time to test the final results. And I'll try to create a new items. As you can see, there is no view selector. Okay, and I'll try to open the edit form here yeah, and we go with the edit form without few selector. Thank you everyone. You can visit my blogs in httpblog.libunibor.com for more detail of the technique in this video guest.